Believe him. Come to the Lord with humility and say, Lord, you who gave me the desire in my mind will also give me the strength in my heart. Give me grace now to overcome that. See, th that same truth is repeated in Philippians in chapter 2. I'm just showing it to you in scripture so that you know this is not some theory I'm preaching, but it's exactly what the apostles preached, which most Christians have not understood. And this is why we have so many burdens. Philippians 2 and verse 13. God is at work inside you. And whenever it says God is at work inside you, it's always referring to the Holy Spirit doing two things. One in your mind to make you will his, his will, his good pleasure. Second in your heart to work his good pleasure. It's the same thing here. It's exactly what we read in Hebrews 8. He works in my mind to choose it and then he works in my heart to do it. And so what should I do then? That's said in, my, in verse 12, last part. You work out your salvation from all sin with fear and trembling. Lord, you're working in me to desire it. You're giving me the strength to do it, but I'm not a robot programmed to automatically move around and live a holy life. No, I have to agree with you. <clears throat> I say, <clears throat> that's all God says. <clears throat> give your will to me and say, you agree with me. I'll give you the desire and the ability. Dear brothers and sisters, we've preached on this for years, but I find sometimes truth needs repetition so that we are gripped by it. Haven't you sometimes read a verse in scripture for years and years and years and one day it hits you? 